This is a categorical list of everything Logan Paul did wrong in his video. If you're having difficulty understanding the outrage, or perhaps having trouble understanding why people are angry at this and angry at him, then this video is for you. Number 1. Did not treat Aoki Gahara with the respect that it deserves. Aoki Gahara or the Jukai Forest is a very sorrowful, harrowing place where many people have died. Pretty much all of them went there to kill themselves. This is kind of fucked up, okay? This is, this, is a, this is a very awful place. This is a very solemn place. And yet this idiot decided that it'd be a good idea to shoot one of his vlogs there. Even if he hadn't found the dead body, this still would have been offensive. He's disrespecting Japan, he's disrespecting its culture. As well as everyone that has taken their lives there. You wouldn't go to a graveyard to shoot a fucking video, and you wouldn't go to a fucking holocaust museum to make an epic vlog, okay? Same difference. Number two, upon finding a dead body, he did not immediately shut the camera off. Continuing to film after finding a dead body betrays an incredible lack of empathy for another human being. It reveals exactly what kind of person Logan Paul is and his retarded friends. I don't really think I have to explain this one anymore. It should be basic fucking human knowledge that if you find a dead body, you probably shouldn't record your reaction to it or anything else just out of respect. Number three, upon finding the dead body, proceeded to get multiple shots of it and close-ups. What the fuck is wrong with you, you disgusting piece of shit? Number four, this retard kept filming even after they left the forest because he wanted to record his reactions to the experience of finding a dead body. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Number five, he then shoots an opening for the video and everything he says is awful. Okay, um, this is not clickbait. He has a profound misunderstanding of the word clickbait. He seems to think it means lying in the title of your video. It's actually quite more broad than that and it includes what you've done with the thumbnail of this video. Number six, the thumbnail of this video. Uh. This is the most real vlog I've ever posted on this channel and this is the most circumstantially surreal event that has ever happened in my life. Circumstantially surreal makes no sense. For fuck's sake, do you even script these things? Do you even write them beforehand? Or do you just spout whatever nonsense comes out of your face, you stupid cunt? Fuck. Uh, I think this definitely marks a moment in YouTube history, because I'm pretty sure this has never hopefully happened to anyone on YouTube ever. This piece of shit has the goal to brag about this being a moment in YouTube history because he's the first to stoop to this low. Nobody else wouldn't be stupid enough to post something like this on YouTube. That's why this is the first time something like this has happened. Also, it's not the first time something like this has happened. People stream themselves killing themselves quite a lot. People have posted videos that should be on live leak on YouTube and they've been deleted. You're not special. Additionally, the fact that he somehow turns this horrific event into a humble brag makes me want to puke. Now with that said, buckle the fuck up because you're never going to see a video like this again. Number seven, seven? I think we're up to seven, right? Number seven. He said that. Why are you not treating this with any kind of gravitas whatsoever? A man's dead. A man is dead. He has killed himself. In fact, he was probably quite young from what I heard, so that's even worse. And, y and you have the balls to say this. I can't, I don't have words. Number eight. After all this footage was recorded, after all this terrible, horrible footage portraying him as a horrible human being and a sociopath without empathy has been recorded, he hands it off to his editing monkey to put it into a YouTube video for him and put it on the channel. At no point did any of the people involved in this have second thoughts, nor did they have any kind of, oh, wait. No, this is, this is a bad idea. This is, this is a bad idea. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Stop, stop, stop. He literally could have done anything else. He literally could have put a tweet out saying, No vlog today, something really bad happened to me, I'll explain in the next video. Or he could have just sat on the edge of his fucking bed in his hotel room and just told everyone what happened and maybe even given some insight onto suicides and maybe actually done some good for the world for once. But no, he did this. You may think this is where it ends. 
you are wrong. Number 9. After receiving sizable criticism from everybody not involved in his cult of personality, he uploads this picture to Twitter that he wrote in his fucking phone, uh, uh, which is the most self-serving, disgusting, non-apology I think I've ever seen. He says, I'm sorry, and then the rest of it is just humble brag, humble brag, humble brag, humble brag, humble brag, hashtag. After about a full day of people being really, really fucking pissed off, Logan Paul finally uploads an actual video apology to his Twitter. I, I don't know if this is actually on his YouTube channel, I'm not going to fucking check. Uh, basically, this is the video he should have put out at first. It's pretty much exactly what people more or less wanted to hear, however, if he thinks this is going to change anything, he is wrong, because his character has been revealed by this, and people know exactly what a piece of garbage he is. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned, and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I want to apologize to the internet. I want to apologize to anyone who's seen the video. I want to apologize to anyone who has been affected or touched by mental illness or depression or suicide. But most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. Um, the goal with my content is always to entertain, to push the boundaries, to be all inclusive, in the world I live in, I share almost everything I do. The intent is never to be heartless, cruel, or malicious. Uh, like I said, I've made a huge mistake. I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm just here to apologize. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm disappointed in myself. And I promise to be better. I will be better. Thank you. I, I don't really have too much to comment on in this video besides the fact that he said I'd like to apologize to the internet. Uh, that sentence is really fucking stupid. It sounds like you're a fucking five year old who thinks the internet is like one big person or some shit. You more accurately could have said I'd like to apologize to my fans or I'd like to apologize to those who I've uh, wronged. Or oh, I'd like to apologize to the many, many victims and people who have been harmed by suicide because I know that this may have or did hurt you or offend you. Something like that would have been a lot better. But all in all, the whole video was a lot better than I was expecting from such a piece of garbage. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your viewership.